We start this Friday at 5 o'clock with new details into the death of a Cesar Chavez high school student that drowned during a school trip at Sholo Lake over the summer. Thanks so much for staying with us for 12 News at 5. I'm Kariba Devine. I'm Jonathan McCall. Records obtained by 12 News show that Christopher Hampton was reported missing after students and coaches left the lake and not after a headcount as previously as authorities had said. And this comes as 12 News journalist Adriana Loya reports that the family plans to sue for $50 million. Chris Hampton was a star athlete, a wrestler, and as a freshman at Cesar Chavez High School, part of the varsity football team. He could have gotten an academic scholarship or a football scholarship or a wrestling scholarship. He had so much potential in him. A bright future cut short. The family is grieving. Benjamin Taylor is the family's attorney. In August, they filed a $50 million notice of claim against the Phoenix Union High School District and multiple other agencies, who they say are responsible for the 15-year-old's death. This is the first step in a lawsuit. Where was the negligence here? The fact that the coaches didn't do a head count, didn't even notice that Christopher was missing, it shows that they were negligent so that they didn't care about for Christopher's life, and they should be found liable for this. Chris drowned at Sholo Lake in July, where he was at a football camp up north. Records obtained by 12 News paint a picture of what unfolded that night. According to interviews with detectives, the coaches wanted to do a kumbaya with the students and opted to take them swimming after practice, even after they were allegedly cautioned by a local coach of the possibility of swimmers getting tangled up in the lake's moss. The team arrived at the lake just before 6.30 p.m., while it was not require for students to get in the water, most did. Records say coaches watch students swim by the dock. The only area of the lake swimming is not allowed. Despite that, coaches allowed students to swim. Some students began swimming to a buoy that was about 25 feet from the dock. One of those was Chris, who, according to a student that swam with him, was struggling to swim and rest on the buoy. Documents say the teammate swam back while Chris stayed behind. That was the last time he was seen. The family received a call. It wasn't from the administration, it wasn't from the coaches, or from another student. Coaches and students learning he was missing after they left the lake, and only after a student noticed he was nowhere to be found. The teammate's head coach told police he knew Chris did not know how to swim and was unsure why he went into the water. All of the coaches interviewed said they did not see Chris in the water. Chris's body was found at the bottom of the lake the next day. This could have been easily prevented. Chris's death was deemed an accidental drowning. The case is now closed and no charges were filed. The head coach and athletic director resigned in September. Adriana Loya, 12 News.